friends uh, we have a uh, 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 producer of anagat who has just joined us it's a privilege to have a producer of anagat mr pravachan uh, uh, with us uh, he has joined he is also a writer of the film anagat uh, he has joined us from nepal and we welcome mr pravachan where are you based are you in uh, which city you are i'm based in kathmandu nepal you are in kathmandu Okay, uh, I'll ask you a few questions re related to film. Uh, how did you get associated with uh, uh, Anagat? Iska idea कहाँ से आया? ये film बनाने का क्योंकि आप एक writer भी हैं film में और producer भी हैं तो शुरुआत कहाँ से हुई? The idea for the film was uh, while the other producer in the film, Mr. Chandra Sita. And he said, "I can with you." And a uh, simple uh, line, you know, like it was the log line, was, "What if a husband suspects that his wife is trying to kill him?" That's it. That was it. And he told me, "Go and write a write a script." Him and the director found it good. So I wrote the script. They loved it, and, but uh, Thompson came on board as a as, as a director, and he obviously did the film. That's how the film was born. Okay, uh, this uh, psychological thriller is based on relationships, uh, differences, distrust, uh, and suspense. Uh, so, how did you get uh, connected to the? इतने सारे element को एक साथ लाना जिसमें relationship drama भी है, distrust वो भी है और suspense भी है और psychological thriller तो है ही. इतने सारे element को एक ही film में कैसे आपने कैद किया? But uh, it was sorry. I'm going to speak in English. Okay, I, I, I can understand Hindi, but I cannot speak in Hindi. Really, so I'll speak in English. Uh, it was difficult at first, obviously. Uh, it was a very simple idea, but then we had to uh, bring in different, different uh, dynamics of relationship. Like for example, uh, the occupation of a hero is a very lonely occupation. You know. He has to bring all the things. Yet I have to have a writer. I did not write this movie alone by myself. Obviously, I got a lot of feedback before I did the script. Me, Sandra Kaja, and uh, Mr. Thompson Bukia, we sat together and we brainstorm like like nothing is off limits. Bring it, bring it to the table, whatever we can bring, and we got lots of ideas. That's how. Uh, you know, it was the breeding ground for the movie, and uh, so it was not just me writing. Obviously, Thompson came aboard as the director and rewrote many, many aspects of the of the film. So that's how we brought together. Uh, what is the meaning of Anagat? Anagat means that which is not invited. Anagat means that which is not invited. Yeah, so I'm saying, uh, did you also uh, require to do some mental preparedness for yourself uh, uh, for this film? Because this type of subject, which you have pre-production, your planning, that, in addition, you have to be mentally prepared for this type of subject. Yes, yes, yes. We we did have to uh, uh, prepare ourselves because uh, what we had in mind was a very slick Western style dark. Psychological thriller, and obviously we had to get to the dark mindset. You know, we uh, we uh, we didn't we didn't we didn't, we didn't uh, role play as such, but we obviously had to shut ourselves out from the outside world and think about what it is. So what if yeah we had to literally think? I had to literally think. What if my wife was trying to kill me? What would I do? You know. Stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we had to uh, many many preparations uh, for for writing stuff and for training with them. So uh, this film has got uh, different shades of emotions uh, from beginning to the end. So uh, where you uh, did you do uh, rehearsals and workshops with actors to uh, prepare for the role before the shoot, or uh, they were just given scripts to prepare themselves? So we we did not have a workshop per se. What we did was we obviously handed out the script to the actors, and 
and the great plot time span. Literally, the trip was written uh, around, uh, finished around the middle of March. And the shooting, the pre production began in April. So we had a very short time frame and we didn't have the luxury of having a, 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 a workshop. And this thing was the main act, uh, Mr. Abun Papa, who is himself a pretty accomplished director here in Nepal. And he's a friend of ours, so we, we, we you know, uh, bounce these ideas off. This is what we're trying to do. This is the guy. And obviously, he was the proper guy for the role. I mean, the meaning you can see in the film. Very understated, but very dark and mysterious and erotic. That's what we're going for. And, uh, Priyanka, uh, who I, I, I do not, did not know well, uh, he, he, he's a good friend to uh, Mr. Sandaka, the, uh, the user, and uh, they were able to talk to her and, you know, give her a brief idea. So, to answer the question, you know, we didn't have this elaborate uh, preparation for uh, the workshop. We just, you know, kind of winged it. We communicated our ideas, what the kind of topic, in terms of the movie, the character, to the Okay, so in this context, uh, uh, do you think improvisation in acting is important by actors or they must uh, stick to the preparations or uh, workshops or a uh, little bit improvisation at the set at the shoot uh, is beneficial for the project? What is your opinion? I think improvisation. Yes, improvisation. <laughs> It happens that, you know, it's natural. Obviously, you have a very, uh, very, very strict director who's like, you know, I want exactly this, you know, from the lines down to the you know, tone of voice, gestures. If the director is that controlling, then yeah, you won't, you won't have a room for improvisation. But if you have a director who is, who's listening to the actors, you know, kind of organically letting the the characters grow into their roles or scenes grow into themselves, himself, he or she will always be open to improvisation. And I think my personal opinion is that when you're a beginning uh, uh, writer, director, improvisation should take sort of a back because you got to go by, you know, some set rules in the beginning. As you will progress as a filmmaker, I think it's more comfortable. I don't think, I don't know if any uh, filmmaker is completely comfortable in the role. Because as they say, every new project, every project is a new project, right? It's like the first project. So, yes, as you go along, then I think improvisation is, is needed. Because you cannot control these things strictly because, you know, sometimes what comes out naturally from the actors is, is, uh, is, uh, is the goal. How did you do the casting, uh, uh, and how was the experience working with these uh, young actors? Okay, uh, in Nepal, I I I I am suspecting that in Bollywood, pretty much like Hollywood, you have a very set system. You know, you want actors or acting director, they'll they run there. You know, connections, they'll call, make calls, and it that doesn't work like that here in, in, in Nepal. It's, so small, we don't, we go by our connection. So we know, you know. The so uh, producer gets on the phone, calls a certain actor. Hey, can you do this? An actor will say, "Oh, let me see." You know, so there's a very uh, grassroots level, basic level of the uh, you know, connection that we. That's how we got these actors. And like I said, we knew some of these actors. You know? We knew uh, all the actors. I knew we knew the main actor. We knew. Uh, and my producer knew uh, the main actor. And the rest of the cast, we, the director connected, mm -hmm. you know, we brought him And we didn't have like, the luxury of, 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 of analyzing the acting or going to a walk, work, work, work up, like I said, and saying, you know what, this guy looks to work, let's put somebody else. No. All these actors were put in, and we're like, you know what, this is what the time to accomplish. Do the best you can. That's how things. 
okay and how was working with the director samteen bhutia how is he as a director samteen bhutia is a competent player uh he is uh he is in the book the part of the point some time it is obviously the part of the point uh the comfortable writing the part of the writing the part of the year year in that one i just spoke to we kind of sit right now so we could not uh uh participate in this uh in this event but he's a very talented director and and i think he is his best work is just about and he was great working with it because the man has a certain level of comfort and confidence when he sits cameras and big lights are all over the place he can dance and intimidate uh, a first time or or an opportunity coming of a certain nature for him it was not a big deal you know he could he got up the scenes uh, like he made up on the spot like he said it was not the actors improvising it mm-hmm. was the director improvising I mean there was a scene with the fight the old mm-hmm. hero fight I was lying uh, on the premise of where we were shooting and he picked it up and I'm going to use it. I like this old look. So we have a pretty interesting working with him in how he, I call it this thing. Obviously, as the person who wrote the first draft, draft of, the, of the movie, I was not in agreement with everything he did, but then he's the director, you know, so we have to give the director the, the freedom of to create, the creative uh, freedom that they need. So he has to be pretty Definitely, and uh, the first major project, by the way, and obviously the uh, uh, pretty big off. The thing was was what he did. Acha, you yourself is a writer and also a producer. One of the producer. So, uh, what are your next plans? What are you writing yourself? Uh, uh, I, I novel or story, short story or script. What are you writing these days? Oh. Uh, I always would be right after uh, another I went out to work for another movie a small project very small project and uh, right after I had so I had it I had two kids in a row and uh, uh, I thought of am doing it right now as a, as a, as a, from the perspective of being a writer but when mm-hmm. movies they have moved the certain in your blood No matter how the task you are from the industry or the environment, it's always new. So I, right now, I am working with a few very uh, often coming and uh, very low level directors, uh, writers, uh, actors, and we're doing very basic things right now. And we are always because of a pandemic, we have not been able to do anything major. But we have ideas for stories, and I'm, I, I am working towards. Uh, uh, a short movie of my own with the help of all these friends that I've tried to collect or, and, and surround myself with and uh, uh, yeah, I'm not actually going to the point of writing uh, writing the story but I am also getting ideas from all these people uh, about different stories different genres and we're trying to come up with uh, many, as many parts as we can and see which one really you know grab grab the spider so the do not let us go so that we can see yeah this is the project uh see uh what is your idea of collaboration in south asia because our platform this platform we have created to encourage collaborations in film making in south asia this is that is why we call it indus valley international film festival So, what is your uh, idea of collaboration? Maybe in uh, uh, with India or Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, any South Asian country, some creative collaboration. So, what do you think prospects? The prospects, okay. As as I'm sure you know that uh, we're making the, the collaborative medium, right? It's not one person doing it. Even though the rest of it, a lot of credit or this credit, it does not do well. But collaboration is, I think, you know, uh, and in South Asia, I I, I really cannot speak 
other houses in Pennsylvania, like India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, you know. But I can speak for my country. Collaboration is it's the key, you know. Because if you do not collaborate, there's no way we can complete the stuff. Yes. Right? Mm. So, uh, but they're also like we run into problems because there are a lot of people who do not understand that film is not about one person, it's not about the star, it's not about the star writer, it's not about mm. the director. Mm. It is about all of them coming together, yes. working on goal, right? And, and when you are working with up and coming like writers, directors, actors, we are not aware of that. Yeah, because they're you know, in person, you have to be standing in front of a whole like crew of 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 people. And the rest, you got to portray this image of often. Right? You cannot be like, oh, I don't know. You cannot do that. Mm -hmm. So, in portraying the comedy, a lot of people bring out their ego, their, you know, confidence, and they forget that it's a collaborative. Right? Right. It also expands market, access to the bigger market for filmmaker, I think. Uh, the collaboration uh, also gives access to bigger market for filmmakers. For sure, for sure. Like, for example, the Anaga, I worked in Anaga with the actor of the Papa, and, and, and a few, like, I want to say, like, six, seven, eight months later, I went on to work on another movie that was written, directed by him, you know, and he's starring him as well. So I got another part to this project that I was in tune with the, with the, with the, with the uh, action. So yes, I agree with you. It's the market. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful experience when you have two people to observe somebody who's really good at his or her craft. It's a wonderful experience. I don't know if you have to get to see how this experience where you're watching you know, create a role of nothing and you're like, wow, it's so amazing. So yeah, when you collaborate like that, it gives you uh, 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 inspiration because you create more, you are good as them, you know. And then when somebody else falls in, you know, when the director does not know what to do, he could come up to you and says, hey, I, I'm kind of lost here. So you give your input as, as a writer, as, as, a, as an up-and-coming director. You know, I think you're doing right, you're doing good. Uh, it is uh, lovely talking to you. You are a very interesting person. You are a very interesting personality. And uh, you sound very interesting. You are uh, a lovely person. And uh, I hope to keep in touch. Uh, this is an excellent festival you guys have here. I'm sorry, I do not know a whole lot about this. I was informed a little late about this. But from whatever is going on, it's an amazing thing you guys are doing because in this time, like, this, and the pandemic has shown that, you know, we have to come together, especially the artists create in whatever way form we can to support each other. And I think of an event like this, highly beneficial. But let's see, in, in India, at least, we have bond. The film in that structure, the infrastructure is there. In, in a country like Nepal, then the infrastructure is artists, almost non existent. So for people like us, events, you know, like yours, are highly, very important, and I see that they're doing a really good job. And we continue to make connections with enough filmmakers and fund, fund, funding, fund, funding organizations abroad. And, you know, bring them here and say, look, you know, we have wonderful stories here. Wow. Ah, thank you. I thank you for doing the job. Yes, and that is our goal is uh, to uh, encourage uh, co collaborations in South Asia uh, among all countries. And with collaboration, we don't just just don't mean uh, co-production. We also mean line production support. If somebody wants to shoot a film in Nepal from any country, from Sri Lanka, Pakistan, we should have a, a genuine ready-made support available to them, uh, whom they can approach. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I thank you for joining uh, and let us keep in touch.